What's up YouTube, welcome to another Evolve video, this time I'm going to be the Kraken, a monster that is very powerful and a very cool monster at that. So we got Val, Hank, Abe, and Markov as a four man team hunting me down, and I'm the Kraken, so let's get started. Now I want to tell you something that you should do if you play as a Kraken. You can cause confusion and damage and paranoia to the enemy team before they even start to hunt you. And I'm going to show you how in the very beginning. What you're going to do is you have banshee mines as a kraken which you lay them out and they uh, attack the hunters if they are near them yeah yeah i already know that airburst recharge slowly airburst, outside recharge slowly, of combat yeah. anyway as far as you can what you're going to do is you're going to lay banshee mines right Stay down from the beginning air right air where you're at where the hunters are going to drop it's automatically going to cause confusion and damage to them before the game even starts it's great for PvP, it's very useful, and there's a combo you could do. If you do that, and right from the start you hit the sneak button and you sneak away from the area, they're going to get damaged, confused, and they're not going to have no tracks. So they're not going to know what to do. And again, that's very useful for PvP. You're going to do good if you do that. Because it's going to give you more of an advantage. They're not going to know where you're at. As long as you don't uh, startle birds, you're going to be fine. Just get far enough away until you're comfortable and get out the sneak mode and then start feeding and do what you do, get armor, evolve, and kill. There's the banshee mines I was talking about. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very effective. I love doing it. It's great. It's just, it's all around great. So here we are. The hunters are going to drop right where you're at. So all you got to do is plant Banshee Mine. Here we go. Come on. Boom. Three Banshee Mines. We're going to get in the air. We're going to drop. And then we're going to sneak. Now I have movement speed perk on, so I my movement speed is increased by 10%, which is going to help me get away f faster. I my left track's going that way, so I'm going to head around. Go ahead and get some sneak attacks in on here, get some armor. That's going to give them an idea of what direction I'm in, but I can always change it up. Feed, feed, feed. Then we're gonna go. And the first time you actually use that, you're gonna get a trophy if you haven't got already for uh, fighting and dealing damage to the enemy team within 15 seconds of them landing. It's a great way to get that trophy. It's a great way to keep them off you for a bit. I at least want to hit stage 2 and get my armor before I even think about confronting them. That's always best if you're the uh, any monster. Okay so there they are. We're gonna head out. Get as far away as possible. Alright, they found me. But we can already evolve. But you do not want to evolve if the hunters are near. You need to be a good distance away. Because when you evolve again, you lose all of your armor. So your health is at risk. Evolve right here. All right, here we go. I want my vortex and aftershock ready. 
Get some more quick armor. Now that you're stage two, if they trap you in the mobile arena, it w should be okay. You should be able to do enough damage and last long enough to get out or even kill them if you're good enough. So as you see, I'm still I'm moving fast, and th that's causing them a lot of trouble. And that's where the um. <coughs> Excuse me. I got hit by a tracking dart. Shit, or no tranquilizer. So that's where the um 10% movement speed comes in super handy. Is you get it around the map fucking fast. That's always good. So they do. They did see me. Uh, the Val, she used her tranquilizing sniper to trank me. Was all right. Again, use your abilities if you, it's great to use your abilities while hunting because they do recharge, they do recharge pretty fast so you don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and use your abilities up when you're hunting wildlife so you get your armor and evolution points. As you see, we're already halfway to stage 3 so we're doing great. I'm gonna go ahead and take the chance to get this big guy. I really want the evolution points from it. It's gonna help out tremendously. Use those abilities up, do damage, boom, he's dead. Just like that. One hunters just died, so right now you have to think, do you wanna go for the three hunters that are left or, or keep hiding? I'm gonna keep feeding and get evolution points. If they come to me, I might take the fight to them. Just cause it's always good if one of them gets killed by the wildlife. You know what, we're almost stage 3, I'm gonna hold out. And again, this game's all about quick decision making and making the right choices. One wrong move and you could lose it all before you even begin the fight. Just remember that. There they are, but we can evolve. I'm gonna get away quickly and get to stage 3, hopefully. If they do trap me in the arena, I'll start dealing damage to them while their teammates are gone. You know what, I'm gonna take it to him. I wanna deal damage. So we just hit Hank with the lightning. Cracking can be a little hard to control at times. It's just a matter of taking your time and learning their abilities. It looks like their trapper is the one who died, which is good, so we can always escape if we need it. That's what I was hoping. Valve's getting a little annoying. So is Hank. I'm trying to decide which one to go for. What would be the best? Alright, let's get out of here. We don't need to do this right now. Now there's no point in feeding because when you're gonna evolve, if you know you're gonna evolve, you lose all your armor anyway, so there's no point. Get a good distance away, let's evolve. Uh, we need armor quickly three kills right there that's gonna give us good armor maybe even enough close so use that glide use those jumps move fast There they are. Let's do it.
Medic is down, but we lost all of our armor. You're gonna keep hitting them. All right, Hank, you're gone, son. Get out here. Meg's dead. I believe Hank should be down. He is down. So you can see how I use the Banshee Mines to my advantage. They tracked him while I was trying to deal with the Meg, make sure she doesn't get up. Now I go for the others. All right, Markov will use his personal shield. I'm gonna go for Abe. Use the Banshee Mines, use all your abilities. Deal major damage. Quickly as possible. Abe's down. I believe Markov's the only one. He's already almost dead. And look at that, guys. Monster win. The easy fight. Not really that much pressure on me. Because I use those abilities in the correct way. It took out the right people at the right time. So there you go, guys. Round length, 9 minutes, 25 seconds. So about 9.5 minute easy win. I got an upgrade for damage bonus, that's nice. So there you have it. Hopefully that video helps you guys out if you're wanting to try to learn more about the Kraken and try to use him more for, as a monster. So thank you guys so much again for watching. Please hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these videos. Uh, do you like them? I'm, I'm going to do one for every character. If you want me to kind of explain something more about a certain character, let me know down in the comments. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next Evolve video.